Yo, what up, guys? It's me, Maddie T, Revin Neo 39, the Crown City Pasadena. You already know. Big shout out to my filmer, Jules, behind the camera. Say hi, Jules. I'm Nosa. It's his birthday today, you know, so I get it out. Uh, without further ado, let's talk about some kicks. Uh, got a Jordan box. As you can see, the white gentleman on the black box. Um, it's gonna be the Air Jordan 1 Retro 93 in that black playoff 8 colorway, but the technical color is gonna be the black, black, true red anthracite. Alright, cool. Starting off the unboxing. Boom. There you go. Take out the left shoe. Very beautiful. It's gonna have a all red outsole. Black in the midsole with red stitching. Then we're gonna have a black Durabuck Nubuck upper, as you can see. Then you're gonna have the Jordan logo, Wings logo hit right there. Really fresh. As you can see, you got perforations in the mid quarter right there, mid quarter panel. Then you have the all black swoosh also. Then to get to the back side, you're gonna have red jumpman. As you can see, this shoe has elements from the Jordan 8. As you go to the toe box right there, that being one of them. As you can see, that's a 23 from the 8s. I know that um, it's under the straight jacket S strapping on a pair of 8s, but you know, it's Jordan 1, so they got it right there in the toe box. Black flat laces, got a nylon neoprene tongue. Then, as like on all retro 8s, you got that varsity esque. Varsity jacket esque type of uh, branding right there with the Jumpman. Then you got the black, red Jumpman. You got that blue right there and that hit of yellow. And the inside collar lining. It's gonna have that print that you see on Jordan 8s. Then you have a black footbed with the red Jumpman on the heel. Very fresh. Oh, look, Jordan branding on the aglets of the laces. Yes, the technical term for lace tips are called aglets. Last but not least, the all red sole. Big shout out to people who caught the Jordunks. Back in the day, um, I remember uh, I had a couple pairs. I had, um, I actually had the, uh, the playoff eight pair of the Jordunks. Um, it was a low top. It looked exactly like this. It's basically like the high top version. Um, I also had the, the, um, the Cement 3 um, Jordan as well. And, um, you know, like you guys, uh, I listened to your um, comments and, you know, questions, suggestions in the comment uh, box below. Um, now I'm gonna put these bad boys on. This is the 8.5. This is what I wear in Jordan 1s. Sometimes, um, if I get lucky, um, and it's especially if it's one I really want, um, I will try on the 8, or I actually do have 8 in black and red AJKOs. Oh man, that's butter. As you can see, I'm wearing a pair of published brand jogger pants because I do not like the pin roll uh, my pants at all. Shout out to GT Fan 712 uh, for that pin rolling video. I tried it at home earlier and I really failed. Um, so yeah, I stick with jogger pants. <laughs> Very fresh. Super high beast in and out. Oh, and as you can see, I'm wearing an odd feature shirt because in our store at Neo39 in Pasadena, we sell odd feature. Uh, we have the t-shirts, as you can see. We got the odd feature Wolfgang, kill them all. Uh, we got the socks. We got three pairs of the socks. We got two of the uh, golf wank socks and one pair of the mint donut socks. So, you know, if you guys have the FB Roche and mints or you have the Air Max 1 FB mint, uh, that's a really great pair to go with it. Or, you know, just to rock in general, just to break next, you know what I mean? To look extra wavy, to, you know, sum responsibly. But yeah, that's me, Matty T. Sorry, responsibly.